everyone and welcome. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com and I'm doing a market review here for today. I called the market intraday long today in the live trading room. I didn't do it myself, but some people did. I waited and waited and waited because I knew it wasn't something I wanted to do aggressively, but I called it at a perfect time with a perfect stop and it held. And this is there's no trading room out there today on the planet that would have called the market intraday long today but me. And why did I do it? How was I able to see this? Because I can read gaps. And the market could even make a new high today. And it's, it's, it's setting up to do it. It's pennies from doing it. It's going to do it. It's 11.45. And if the market doesn't make a new high today, it will next week. This is amazing. And I am the only trading room on the planet that would have actually called the market long today, intraday, and the trade is working. And if you did it, you're up. And it has a huge target. And how was I able to do this? Because of how I know how to read gaps. This is such a great call. And just the market itself, the way I even saw the market to do this and continue to see the market do this is a great, 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 great call. Look at that. 20 cents stop it was. 104 was a stop. Entry was 108.60 to go long the market. Target's 109. It got to the first target. It got to the first target, actually. Next target's 109.25, 109.50, and 110. And the market could get over the high today, which is 109.42. This is incredible. I called the market long intraday today as a day trade. And the market's long in the overnight trade, long no matter what, higher, either way. The market is going to make a new high, which I continue to say. And I called this to happen here in the minutes. But this call here today to call the market in this gap up here today. I mean, and it even came down and was red initially in the day. Made the tally thing. And then even fake lower here. And guess what? It's held a stop. Fake lower here right at 1045 and held a stop. Great call long the market here today. And the potential for the big target exists, but you'd have to be in this till 4 o'clock. You have to be in this all day to get this up on through the high. And if we do not make a new high today, we will next week. The market is higher. I've been saying it for months. I said it the entire time the market was slish sloshing around lower and lower and looked faked lower in December and January and all through in here. Market rallying nonstop straight in February. And I really didn't think we'd pull in like this, but we did. But I still saw we hold. I still saw we make a new high. And we're going to do it. Even though everyone in the world but me says the market's going to crash, which it's not going to do. And you know that people are still going to short this market when it makes a new high again. Do you realize that people will still do that? <laughs> Sometimes people get an idea in their head about something they want to do, and they insist it, and that's why they keep losing in their trains, because they keep retaking it, retaking it, retaking it, retaking it, instead of reading what's really there. I just see what's there in the gap. Read it, rate it, rate the gap. Watch a trade live in the live price action and call it. And if it does something wrong, I see it. But if it doesn't, then it doesn't. And if, if I see it and it does something wrong, then I can pull myself back. But the thing is that you have to know what the difference is when something's doing something wrong or when somebody's not doing anything wrong at all. And actually, this market never did anything wrong at all. It never did anything bearish. It never did anything wrong at all. It never broke the uptrend. It stayed strong the entire thing. Do you have any idea how strong this is today for this gap to be holding? This gap gapped up today in the sky. And it's holding in the sky. In the sky, it's holding. This is so bullish here today, even though it doesn't look like much because we have a tiny green body. Great entry here in this, though. Actually, this is two hours even from where I called it. If you got out at the first target at 109, you made two R's very quickly. You're, you could have gotten out and made two R's in the intraday long, I called. So aggressive to do. Anyways, this is so bullish for the market to be holding in the sky here like this. After the rally up for five days, after the massive bar, green bar from Wednesday, to gap up like this and hold in the sky. I cannot tell you how bullish this is. Bullish. And how do I know how to read stuff like this so expertly well? How am I able to call all the numbers in the market? How am I able to call higher highs to continue to be made in the market? How am I able to call the targets? How am I able to see the support, right? How am I able to read what the intraday position is going to be to call this long here today? How am I even able to look in the long term? How am I able to look in the short term, in the one-minute chart, to call the trades for the entries? Because I know how to read gaps. That has taught me very well of how to read price action. And it is the highest level of price action that exists in the chart of a stock or the market in an ETF is gaps. And because I taught myself how to read gaps correctly, like no one else on the planet, I am able to read price extremely well at a very high, 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 high advanced level. And I do it day after day in the trading room, trade myself, teaching students to do it, teach them in the class.
and it's all because of what I know about GAPS. It's a 26-point rating system in GAPS. This is, this is a phenomenal call I made in the market. It's going to continue higher. I called it intraday today. It's a two-hour trade. You could have been out, but it, if you want to be in this the bigger number that could go there today, it is early here on a Friday. I do not like to trade in a Friday afternoon. I do not want to trade Friday into the close. But if you have nothing else to do and you feel like doing it, you could be in this long here still to get it up to the next number. But I probably would have gotten out of half at least. Beautiful move here in the QQQs. Look to make a new high. Could happen today. Could actually happen today. It's almost doing it. We're 40 cents from it. And do you know that people are short this market here? And they are not even going to give up on it then. I, I don't even think people are going to necessarily, I don't even know necessarily if we blow over this number when we hit it. We could. We might. We might blow right up to 110 after we blow over this number and stop out the people that are short. But they might give it a cushion. They might give it a cushion over 50 or even 110. And they might give it a cushion. And then, then that's what's even going to make it push even higher than at one point. So we'll just have to see how it all plays out. But I will be watching this. I love to look at the market. I love calling it. I love it all. And I even can call beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bullish golden gaps like this market here. And it's been fantastic. So if you're interested in taking the Golden Gap class, email me. Email me if you want to take the class in April. Actually, the class dates for April, I'll tell you right now. April 11th and 12th. April 11th and 12th is the class dates for April if you want to take the Golden Gap course, which will be right at the start of the second quarter earnings season, which will be a great time to take the class because in earnings season, there's lots of things to do to trade and to make money in my system. If you'd like more information on to sign up ahead of time for the April course, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. And if you'd like more information on the bullish gap class too, feel free to email me about that class as well. I, and that is another great class because I'm teaching bullish gaps. And you can see here, I can call bullish gaps as well as bearish gaps. I just love them both. I love them both. I just love gaps, period. Although I really do prefer to short intraday because moves in the short side happen so quickly. But I told everyone you had to be patient today to get the market long, and here the patience paid off. And here it is. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful bullish call in the market. Have a great weekend, everyone. If you're interested in more information on the Golden Gap class, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everyone. Have a great weekend.